In today's video, I'm going to show you how I make these custom flower sack towels. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is make sure that they're folded the correct way. So I'm going to take them as they come when I buy them, unfold them completely. And we're looking for the tag. So I want the tag facing up and then I'm going to rotate it so it's still tag, tag side up. And uh, sometimes there'll be these little loose strings, so we'll pull those off. And then we're gonna fold the bottom edge up to the middle line. Fold the top edge down to the same middle line. We want to try to keep everything as straight as possible as we're doing this. We'll fold that over in half and then we're going to fold it down. And the part with the tag I like to now have up. So after I smooth it over, I'm going to flip it over, smooth it out. And so now the piece with the tag is facing up and then we're going to measure so we can create our design. And uh, it's about 13 inches by about seven inches. So I know when I make my templates, I'm gonna make it 13 inches by seven inches. Make sure that all my towels are folded and then I'm ready to go to my design software. I like to create a lot of my graphics in Adobe Photoshop. You see here I have my template set up seven inches by 13 inches at 300 DPI. That'll give me a nice crisp graphic. And we're ready to save that as a JPEG. And when we do, make sure you select maximum quality. And then I'm gonna open that image in. I use a Silhouette Studio Business Edition. We're gonna go ahead and trace our design. And then we'll delete the original design. Then all we have left is our vector tracing. Resize it to 5.4 inches. And then I'm ready to go ahead and uh, duplicate that over and we'll go ahead and begin making uh, these relief lines and the relief lines what they're gonna do uh, as you'll see in a little bit when we go to weed the excess of vinyl it just makes it much much easier because we can weed it in sections instead of trying to do all of it all at once And I'll zoom in, make sure that my relief lines don't overlap my actual design. I don't want to cut up my design. So it'll take a little bit of time for adjustments. Make sure that it's done correctly. And once everything looks good, we're ready to load our vinyl into our vinyl cutter, which I use the Cameo Silhouette 3 have not yet updated to the four. When you send your design, you want to send it mirrored because uh, anytime you use heat transfer vinyl, it needs to be mirrored. So we send it to the machine, the machine's gonna prep the blade and then go ahead and begin cutting out our design. Once the design is cut, it's ready to be weeded. And so I like to start with the smaller uh, inner pieces first and then save the larger pieces for last uh, when doing heat transfer vinyl uh, because it is sticky and I would just, uh, if you do the large pieces first and sometimes the little pieces get stuck and they're harder to notice. Once we've got all the little pieces, we're ready to do the bigger outer pieces. And um, patience is really key. So you wanna make sure that you take your time, that you do it correctly, so we don't make any mistakes and waste 
uh, waste of material, waste of towels, or worse, upset a customer. Flip it over, see what it's supposed to look like, and it looks like part of uh, the vinyl stuck in the S, the first S in dishes, uh, so that'll need to be removed. Um, but I want to show you all the waste vinyl, make sure that doesn't stick back down on the sticky part. Alright, so we see it there, and uh, we need to go ahead and remove that last little piece, and our first part is done. Now that they're both weeded on both sides, I want to go ahead and cut them apart. Now that doesn't have to be terribly straight, because the plastic is just a holder, just a carrier. And I like to save my uh, backings for my 3M sheets. Uh, but I, you can also use wax paper or parchment paper, and that just holds the design so they don't stick down to your table or to each other. And, uh, yep, left part of the S again, so we'll go ahead and remove that. Alright, two ready to go. And our heat press... Go ahead and turn that on. We want that to go to, for the regular uh, Easy Weed heat transfer vinyl is 305, uh, 15 seconds with a medium pressure. If you're using different vinyl, uh, Easy Weed stretch is a little bit higher uh, temperature, or if you're using another brand, just check the manufacturer settings. We want to go ahead and preheat for five seconds. This will get some of the wrinkles out and kind of give us a nice smooth surface to work on. And then we'll go ahead and line that up, and then we're ready to press. All right, once it's done, we'll peel back the backing. So the Caesar Easy Weed is either cold or warm peel, so you can wait to peel it or you can peel it right away. I like to peel it right away. just repeat for all of the towels that you have to make and we're done so there you go how to make custom flower sack towels